free image generation with DALI 3 and Bing. Let's go onto the computer and see it in action. Now here I'm on bing.com slash create, link in the description below, but this website will let you create beautiful imagery using DALI 3, which is part of OpenAI. And again, as you probably already know, Microsoft has a deal with OpenAI. So let's go ahead and play around with it and let's create some cool images. Now there are two main ways that you can do this. You can use a reference image. I'll show you that later in the video and you can create it using text only. Let's start with the text only. So here I'm going to start typing at the top what I would like to see. Now I want to see a rhino riding a bicycle realistic image and he's riding it through the city. Let's go ahead and click on create. Now once I do that, it's going to start generating this image. It takes the text that I've given it. Again, the more detail in your prompt, the better the results will be. But this is just a quick example. Here you can see it's generating four quick little images. And because it's using DALI 3, it's incredibly detailed and good at doing so. So here we can now look at these four. Let's go ahead and look at this one. We can click on it. We see a larger version of this image. I think this is a perfect example of how you can use this for story starters in your class. So let's say that I have this image up on the whiteboard on a Monday morning, Tuesday morning, kids come into the classroom and I ask them to describe what they see and they have to use as many adjectives and adverbs as possible. Well here, let's go ahead and say that I want to use this image. I can now click on download. You can see here on the right hand side, click on download and now I have access to that file. You can see here the file is there and I can now use this image anywhere I want. You can also see there are some content credentials here. This is just so that you can make sure that you are crediting that this was generated with AI, with Bing, as well as making sure that everybody knows that this was not made by a person, but created and generated by AI. You can also then click on customize. Now, when I click on customize, it's going to pull it all the way into Microsoft Designer. Now, Microsoft Designer is a tool that allows you to design different types of documents. You can use this to design flyers, design posters, anything you can think of. So you can see we have it here in Microsoft Designer. Now, you will feel familiar when you see this sort of layout here on the left hand side. This will remind you a little bit of Canva. If Canva is something that you use a lot, you will be able to use Designer in no time. Here on the right hand side, it gives us some ideas. We're going to have a look at these ideas. I quite like some of these. Um, let's go ahead and select this one here. We're going to click on that. It's going to now generate a new layout using that. I can then start adding in different elements. So here on the left hand side, I can add in text. I can add in whatever I want to make this image pop. So you can see here, I'm going to just add in describe and then I want the students to do just that. So we're going to choose a different font for this. There we go. And let's just add that to the bottom. And then this can be the image that is presented on our whiteboard. Let's go back into Bing Create. Over time, as you generate more and more of these AI generated images, you will have an overview of these in your collection. Now on the right hand side, you will see your recent searches. So for example, here I have a tortoise riding a skateboard in a skate park surrounded by trees. That's what it came up with. Here I had the Chrome logo with the correct colors and design. Now this is a funny one and this leads us straight into the second part of Bing. And that is using a reference image. So the first time I asked it to use the Chrome logo, it came up with this example. This is the Chrome logo according to Bing. Didn't have any reference image available. However, once I gave it that logo as a reference, it was able to generate the following. Now, where does it do that? Because when I go back to the original Image Create website, there is nowhere for me to upload a reference image. Well, what I can do is I can use the built-in Copilot and the image generation with Bing within Copilot in the Edge browser. So here on the right-hand side, you'll see in the top right corner, I have Copilot. I'm going to click on that. Now I can start doing the exact same thing, 
but with a reference image. So let's go ahead and give it some information. We're going to first of all add an image. So I'm going to use the Chrome logo as a reference image. We will upload that image using the image I have given you. Please create a scene of this logo. See the image attached floating above a meadow with sheep grazing. Let's see if it can do that. We're going to upload an image. It's going to interpret that image. Then it's going to take my prompt, combine the two, and hopefully it's going to create a, a balanced image of just that. Now, do keep in mind, this is generative AI. It doesn't always work the way you want it to work. So it has the image, it has the information, Let's see what it comes up with. And here we go. It's given me four options of the logo, which I gave it with sheep grazing. So let's have a look at the options. First one is right here. This was the first option that it came up with. I quite like this. This is exactly what I asked it. We have another option right here. The third is here. A little bit more 3D. It's got that nice shine. And the final one, very magical as if Chrome has invaded the Bing environment. And so here you can see how you can use reference images within Bing Create as long as you're using the Copilot, which is built into the Edge browser. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel, share the video with someone who could find this useful as well. Now, I just want to say a quick thank you to all the channel members. Their names are scrolling on your screen right now. Thank you for making the creation of this content possible. Now, if you have it within your means to become a channel member, say thank you for the videos, or if you find these helpful, consider joining our membership as well. Now, if not, make sure to subscribe and like, because that by itself already makes a huge difference. In the meantime, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.